So yeah, last one we're going to do today is uh, the Casper Brainy book. Because yeah, it's a week after Halloween now, but yeah, I just thought give it a look in. Might be good. Got to be better than fucking Rodney's Wonder Window. Jesus Christ, that was terrible. Let's boot that up. <laughs> oh, knowledge adventure though. This might be. This might have a bit of quality to it. Oh, case in point. Much better quality. You know, shit for this time, but it's this was pretty impressive back in the, you know, mid-90s. Casper. No, I actually have a soft spot for the Casper movie. It was, yeah, it was pretty well Hello. done. Hello, welcome to my brainy book. It's full of fun things for you to find. Just, <laughs> I, 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 I actually do kind of like not quite Christina Ricci and not quite Bill Pullman here. That's Where right, yeah, because we were talking uh, about um, talking about old like Mel Brooks movies, and that had now. Bill Pullman in Spaceballs. So what are we doing? Um, you want to just read to me? Let's read. Yeah, let's read. Ah, where'd the ghost come from, though? Creepy house. Oh, well, they're actually like animated and all. That's that's Dr. pretty impressive. Harvey and his daughter Cat were moving into old Whipstaff Manor. Okay, do we get to uh, look at anything? Do we get hotspots? Oh, we get some hotspots. Oh, there's uh, is that sentient water or a frog in that little puddle? Someone's gonna eat that. Ah, it was a frog. Okay. What else we got? I oh, don't shock the kitty. What are you? What are you doing, mate? Okay. Oh, he's all purry now because he's stopped. Yeah. The electrocution has stopped. Ah! It's yeah, fine. There you go. <laughs> what? Okay. Gee, Dad. Random. I hope this is the last time we have to move. Yeah, let's hope so. Sorry, Cat. I have to go where my work takes me. I forgot what he actually did for a job. It is legit been like. I want to say at least 15, 20 years since I saw the Casper movie, but it was, uh, yeah, I do remember enjoying it. Right, well, in you just go. Whoa. Oh, whatever's going on here is disturbing. Face and blood and shit. Okay. Wow, maybe there are ghosts here. Oh, he was There's a ghost no hunter? Such thing as ghosts, Dad. Okay. Cat hated moving from place to place. But her father's job was to hunt for ghosts. And ghosts were hard to find. Yeah, probably because they don't fucking exist. You, you think of that? Oh, Hula Girls. Oh. Alright. Oh, yeah, there's the, the uncles. Is this a. Looks like a tampon, if I'm being honest. Oh, it's a lamp. Okay. Hey, turn that light back on. Oh, do they get Brad Garrett in for the voice? Nice. Yeah, I like old sure Brad Garrett. Ghosts here. I can't wait to get to work. Because I never watched Everybody Loves Raymond, but I did find out he got into like a fair bit of voice acting. Yeah, right, eh? Snakes. Ah! It's me in the shower. I gotta cover up my ghost penis. Yep. Yeah, that, that, that's a very scared teddy bear. Why is he in dad's trunk now? That's weird. Nothing in the other... Oh, hang on. Am I triggering something? Or... Apparently I am. Wow. Alright. <laughs> That's his reaction, just... Wow. Just... Okay. Yuck. Hell? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, no, I do remember, like... 
they've modeled this off the the movie i suppose haven't they do i remember that just that viral thing on the floor <laughs> creepy okay oh maybe if you leave it after all it actually shows you all the the hot spots Right? Oh, that's quite a cute version of the creature. Jamie's dead again. No. All right, let's move on. So we got like I'm what really twelve tired. pages to get through. I'm going to sleep. Sleep tight, sweetheart, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Ah, uh, yucka. Hmm. Okay. I wonder which bedroom I should use. The hallway was lined with doors. Cat looked around curiously. Yeah. You know, stand a bit more naturally, Cat. You're showing a little bit anxious. Oh, no. That would be too scary for me. <laughs> okay. Alright. I wonder if Dracula ever. No, we did that one. Ah, uh, okay. I was hoping the suitcase was a separate hotspot. Alright. Um. Oh! Huh. Second floor. Notions and potions. Going up. I forgot who else did voices in the Casper movie. Like, for the other ghosts. Oh, yeah, the other person I really remember it, it was um, Eric Idle for some reason. Yeah, I might even go and see if I can find it out there somewhere. Boy, a friend. <laughs> yep. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, these are certainly better than those, um, like, Got Disney knockoff ones I've been checking out lately. Not, not by much, though. <gasps> a girl. Wow. A girl. I sure hope we won't have to move again. I was just getting to know everyone at my last school. Cat got ready for bed. She liked her room. She was almost feeling at home again. Yeah, I like the room having a fucking ensuite. That's good shit. I hate fucking tripping over stuff trying to go for a piss. Middle of the night. <laughs> oh, the fun stuff we get in here, though. Just tap dancing. Oh! I want you to get out of this house. Nah! <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. This would be Mother Dearest, I guess. Picture frame is falling down, falling down, what? falling down. My picture frame is falling down. Whoops. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. There's not really it's not the most exciting hotspots in the world. Like living books is still gonna be you know, top spot for that stuff. Seems like a comfortable bed. Daddy! I saw a, a ghost! You saw a what? A ghost! Really? A ghost? Wow! <laughs> Cat's wow. dad was very excited. <laughs> yes, you can, so you can clearly see that by this animation. This, the, the dad is excited. Okay. Why does Stretch have a fucking picture of a baby next to his bed, though? That's... Also, another picture of baby here. Rookie. <laughs> Cat's dad. Cat's dad was. Cat's dad was very excited. 
Why, Cat why the fart Dad noises? Was very excited, but Cat had... Cat's dad was very excited, but Cat had never been so... <laughs> <laughs> Producer in the booth just got so scared in her life. Get on with it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Shh. Okay. Alright. <laughs> that fucking teddy bear again, though. Alright. I'm not scared. Take me to it. I ain't afraid of no sleep. What are we going to do now? I ain't afraid of no bed. It's bed. Mm, freaky ghost bed. <laughs> Good old Neil Cicerega. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. They had that little sword fight in the movie, didn't they? Smell it, Graham. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. It was stinky fat sound stretch, wasn't it? Casper's three uncles. Dr. Harvey was as scared as Cat. The three gulls seemed to be very mean. See that? Oh, and some actual stock footage from, um... Something swashbuckly in the 30s? I don't think it's Robin Hood, but that might be Basil Rathbone. Sure. Apparently he was an accomplished fencer. Oh. <laughs> now we've already seen one penis on stream tonight. All for one and one for all. Catch your pants before they fall. <laughs> I can't even remember who directed it. I wouldn't have been old enough to remember who it was. Stretch swung his umbrella and the doctor lost his pants. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. The ghostly trio was tough, but Dr. Harvey got the last laugh. Hey, Dad, the vacuum. <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering if this movie actually was the inspiration for, like, Luigi's Mansion. The next morning. Cat met Casper in the kitchen. <gasps> Please don't scream. I promise it won't hurt you. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about last night. I didn't mean to scare you. Sorry, I got ectoplasm all over you. All right. Casper wanted was a friend. What do you make for it? Pancakes or something? Those sausages are looking pretty good right now. I should have eaten before I fucking started this stream. Oh, it's like a reverse mincer. They put in sausages and pigs came out. Okay. Why would you have a violin in your kitchen anyway? Alright, we gotta make some breakfast or what? No, I wanted to make some breakfast, not listen to fucking violin music. Well, these are even meant to be just jars. Anyway. All right, what's what's Casper got to say? How about some toast? That was toast. Okay. Oh, come on, the pepper's got to do something. Yep. Huh. Okay. Stop sliding! That's not nice of you! Oh, dear. You better chuck out that cutlery. You're a pretty good cook. For a ghost. Do you anything else to eat? No, I didn't want this knife sword fight again. Stop sliding. Yeah, we gotta get out of this kitchen. I'm legit starving at the moment. Okay. Scrambled eggs coming up. 
<laughs> yeah, Anchor and I were talking about scrambled eggs last night. I don't think they'd understand. Yeah, don't come to school, ghost. You're a ghost. Tied to this place anyway. While Cat talked to Casper, Dr. Harvey tried to make friends with his uncles. Tell me what it's like being a ghost. People get bent out of shape when they see me. <laughs> yeah, we're having the time of our lives. <laughs> I mean, dead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, surely this line's got something to say about the whole experience. Or he can just cosplay as a propeller. Okay. Wow. Oh, alright. The cute tiny fire engine. Could be the scientific discovery of the century. Yeah, right. Hey Doc, let's go have some fun. <laughs> oh yeah, it was something fun. Did they don't they like accidentally kill him or something? I'm throwing a Halloween party for my friends at school. Great. I won't even need a costume. Well, Casper, you can't go. Y you're a ghost. The other kids won't understand. Casper was sad. Being a ghost meant he couldn't really be Cat's friend. Look at him, he's so sad. No! <laughs> he's right it out for some reason. Why? Okay. Have you got any shoes to match? Hmm. Yeah. Well, if you were a real boy instead of a ghost, I'd love for you to come to my party. Yeah, show me fucking dead. Huh? Ah, break the mirror after all that. All right. Casper had a great idea. He told Cat about a machine in the basement that can turn a ghost into a person. Come on! <laughs> I've got this cube to show you. Apparently there's a uh, resurrection configuration on it. Oh yeah, no, that was actually a really cool set. Yeah, if I got, I'm probably just going to get some lunch and eat, watch the movie after this. So I remember it being pretty good. He invented the machine I was telling you about. <laughs> hey, we killed his dad. Yep, fair enough. <laughs> the machine's like, fuck this shit, I'm out of here. Okay, I guess I can come back. Alright, so what else we can... Yep. It's funny because he's dead. Oh, sweet doll. Get in. Who's the girl? I I don't remember. I'm confused. Yeah. Why is there why do they keep showing Oh are we meant to be actually finding keys? Is Oh that just Just a hot spot for it. Stinky to play as peekaboo. No, fuck Have that. Fun. Get smart. <laughs> I'm smart enough already, thank you. I shouldn't have done this. What? Okay. Dad? Oh, that's all she says. What happened to you? What? Something happened? Oh, so the keys are meant to be for like mini games, I guess. Sorry. Okay. There was a little accident. Do we have to go to our room? <laughs> Do we have to go to our I don't want to be a ghost. It's 
okay, Dad. This machine can turn you and Casper back into people. No. The machine will only work once. Casper wanted to use the machine to turn Oh, don't tell me I'm going to get content ID on it, because that's like an actual but theme from the did, movie plan at the moment. Cat's dad would be stuck as a ghost forever. Yeah. Let's Dr. Let's... Harvey, Cat needs her father back. It looks like I'm stuck as a ghost forever. I can't remember why she was dressed Dad, up like that eh, either. Okay. Oh, Go and you fuck. You use the machine. Casper? This is the way it's gotta be. Dad! Cat! Wow. Thanks. Oh, and they didn't want to actually dress up. Yeah, actually have like the um the party they had at the end of it. Yeah, that's fair enough. After the Halloween party, Cat and Casper celebrated. Cat had found a new home, and Casper had found two new friends. All right. Well, that was okay, I suppose. Let me just floor, and remember, don't watch your step, and by all means, please trip. Yeah, okay. So that's hey, this is oh, and we get mini games. So that... Uncle Stinky's peekaboo. Keep oh, so you there go through the stories to get the keys, and then you can unlock the mini games. Well, that's a little clever, but I think we're going to leave it there for the stream this week. Oh, no, no credits or nothing. Just smash cut to black. Fair enough. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals.